Hello, this is a short video on how to use Basecamp Manager. And it's for the President, the Vice President of Education, and the Secretary. Why? Because if the Vice President of Education finishes a path, then that person cannot validate their own completion. So either the President will validate the completion or the, the Secretary will do it. It's always good to have more than one person who can go and make the approval. So to start off with, we start in Toastmasters International. And once you've logged in, you should see a page similar to the one I put on the screen. And what you do is you'll go down and you will click onto the Basecamp area here. And this is one I've done earlier. So you can see that if you are a member of more than one club, then you will see the clubs listed at, on the screen here. I'm a member of two clubs. I'm also the secretary of the Experience French Club. So that's why I've got this other icon, which says Basecamp Manager, which I'll come back to in a minute. Now I'm going to use Experience French as the starting point. So once I click onto Experience French, it will take me into Pathways, which as I've mentioned many times before, it is a separate location to the main Toastmasters International website. And you can see that because it says LMS, which is Learning Management System. In this area, you can see uh, different information, but the, 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 the area that you're interested in is the paths and learning. And what is displayed here are the last three areas that you've looked at. You can either click on that one to open it directly, or you can click onto the paths and learning, and that will open all the paths and learning that you have access to. And as you can see, I've got quite a, a number of pathways which I'm working on at the same time. So once I've decided which pathway I want to go to, I will click on to quick, click open curriculum, and that opens it like so. And in this particular example, I'm showing the one called Visionary Communication Spanish. And what I'm showing here is the last area, which is the path completion. You'll see that the ticks here indicate that these have all been completed. This one hasn't been completed. So what I will need to do to complete it is to click on to launch. That will bring up this PDF um, form, which tells me what I need to do. Once I've clicked off this, it will it will change the status from launch to mark completed. Then it will send them a, a message to the president, to the VP education and the secretary indicating that this is now ready to be looked at and to be validated. The next step is over here, back here. Once everything has been completed and been validated, you can see that the uh, launch will change to view certificate. And you can see that there's a certificate that any member, once they've completed a level, they can go and they can download that, copy that, whatever they want to do with that particular certificate. The next step is for the Basecamp Manager. So what you will do is you'll go back to the main Toastmasters page, go to Basecamp, but this time you go to Basecamp Manager. And when you click onto Basecamp Manager, you are presented with this new screen. And you will only see the screen if you, are, if you have access to Basecamp Manager. And I, I'm gonna reiterate it, it's the president, vice president, Vice President Education and the Secretary. Only those three members of a committee can see this area. And in here, you can click on to Pending Requests, Member Progress, and Manager Tutorials. The area I'm going to look at is the Pending Requests. And when I click that, and this is one I've done earlier, you will see that any time that someone has submitted a request, then it will come into this location. And you can see who, who requested it and what it was for, that it's been for completion. And our job as president, VP education, secretary, as base camp manager, what we will do is once we're happy with that, this is all being completed and we con we confirmed it with our member, we simply click that tick and then it's done. That's the, the end of part one. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that Pathways is a separate system from Toastmasters International. So the validation of a speech is a two-step process. 
The first step is base camp manager, which we've just done. The second part means that we need to go into the main Toastmasters area here, again, back into this area. But instead of going to this area again, what we will do is we will go into this, the new area. It's called Club Leadership Central. And the one we're after is Club Central. I know it's a, a two-step process, but that's what we have to do. First bit, we go into um, we go into Basecamp Manager, validate it in there, and then to get this to appear onto our dashboards, then we need to come into Club Central. And as you can see, if you are on the committee of more than one club, you can see the information will appear here. And as I am, then you can see the information. So if I click onto Sardinero, for example, it will bring me into Club Central. And the area I'm after is this Submit Education Awards. So I click on that, and that will take me into the Submit Education Awards. What you do is you select the member that you're interested in submitting an award for. You cannot do it for yourself. You have to do it for someone else. Then you select the name of the person. And then underneath that, it comes up with this Select Education Program. You click which program that you are validating. You get some additional options, letter of recognition, yes or no. And then you can review the award and then submit. That's the end of the process. I hope this has been a useful introduction. Just follow this step by step and you shouldn't go too far wrong. And you'll be able to make sure that all of our members are validated. Uh, I mentioned why, it's, why is it a two-step process? I will quickly do this one. If I go into dashboards, when we go into the dashboards, anytime a member completes a level here, it's validated because it has been validated in Club Central, not in Basecamp Manager. That's why we have to do the because the, the, there are two separate systems, they don't talk to each other. Therefore, we have to validate in Basecamp Manager and then we have to validate in Club Central so that the information then filters through here onto the dashboard. I hope that makes sense. And the other thing to remember is that these are unique numbers. So when the goal says level one awards completed four, it means four members, not the same member doing it four times. It's one member per um, point here. So uh, as you can see in this situation here, we had four was our goal. We only achieved three because one member in the club or one or more member didn't complete that area. I hope this has been useful. Any queries and questions, you can always find me and let me know.